Carrie Lemieux has been punking all of us and showing what a disgrace the Ontario school system has become as a result of it. Hi, I'm Brian Lilly, political columnist for the Toronto Sun. If you're not sure who Carrie Lemieux is, perhaps you're more familiar with the other name that he went by for a little while, Kayla Lemieux. Kayla Lemieux is the woman, man, person who showed up all of last school year at Oakville's Trafalgar High School dressed as a woman with huge unrealistic prosthetic breasts, a blonde wig, and short bike shorts. This was something that caused consternation among students, among parents, but the board stood by it, defended Lemieux, said, well, we've got to be accepting. Except now, well, Lemieux is back at another school, this time in Hamilton, and showing up as a man? Yeah, that's right, showing up in cargo shorts, t-shirts, golf shirts, and a beard. And speaking to parents of kids at the school, they've been told to call Carrie Lemieux, Mr. Lemieux. So what was behind all this? Why did the school board all of last year defend what was a ridiculous caricature of a woman as if this were a legitimate issue of issues of transgenderism or as Lemieux claimed at the time to the Toronto Sun's own Joe Warmington being intersex? That's right. Lemieux said, told Warmington, I'm not transgendered, I'm intersex, and I have a, a condition that caused my breasts to grow so big so fast, they're natural. Of course they're not. Lemieux has been punking us, and the school system, the school board teachers, principals, administrators, were too woke, too accepting of absolutely everything to say no to this. He showed us what a ridiculous level our school system has gone to. Now, some people have criticized Education Minister Stephen Lecce for not doing anything about this. But here's the thing. Lecce didn't have the power at the time to do anything other than firing the entire board, taking it over with a, a province-appointed uh, supervisor, which is a bit of an extreme end to go to for one teacher. Except maybe the teacher wasn't the problem. Maybe it was the board administrators, and maybe that's what should have happened. Because these people allowed Lemieux to punk everyone because they were too afraid to say no. They were too accepting of absolutely everything to say, you're having us on, you're taking the piss out of us, which is what he was doing. And now he's back at another high school in Hamilton, teaching shop, showing up every day, dressed like a dude, having the students call him Mr. Lemieux and laughing about it all from behind his beard. Lemieux may have just pulled off the greatest prank in quite a long time. Let me know what you think. Drop a comment down below. Share this on social media. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel.